Coming up, I've taken another look at the right-wing press to get the latest on Brexit. Now they're accusing the EU of kidnapping UK citizens. I couldn't believe it when I saw this headline in the Daily Express. In this video, we're taking a deeper dive into the latest Brexiter doublethink. Keep watching. According to the Daily Express, Tory MP Bernard Jenkin is concerned that British citizens are taking up citizenship in European Union member countries because their career opportunities here in the UK are so much more limited than they were before Brexit. It's a very serious problem, Prime Minister, he's quoted as saying. The Express is painting this as an EU plot to carry out a brain drain of the UK, stealing away our most productive and creative citizens. I'm puzzled. The trolls in the comments on this channel tell me, if you love the EU so much, why don't you just f off and live there? But when professionals, graduates and business owners actually do leave to go and live in the EU, the response from Brexiters is, bloody EU, kidnapping our citizens. I mean, the doublethink is astounding. Their brains must really hurt from all these mental gymnastics they have to perform. The express take is that when people come to the UK from other European countries, they're immigrants, changing the character of Britain beyond recognition. When British people left to live in Europe, they used to be expats. But now that Brexit forces professional people to move to Europe for better career prospects, apparently they're being stolen by the EU. It doesn't occur to the Daily Express and the other Brexity rags that many British citizens don't want to live in a nationalistic country run by a xenophobic government. But what's most worrying is that the exodus of highly skilled and qualified Brits to the continent is being highlighted as a problem by Tory MPs like Jenkin and put to this Prime Minister as a situation that needs to be solved. With Boris Johnson's populist tendencies, you can only imagine what solution he may come up with. Perhaps he might decide that Brexit's removal of our freedom of movement rights didn't go far enough, and that any British national taking up citizenship of another country will lose their accrued British state pension rights, their access to the NHS, or even maybe their right to British nationality. Alarmist? Maybe. But do you really trust this Boris Johnson government not to at least consider such measures? But the truth is, this brain drain effect is yet another part of what Brexiters love to call Project Fear, but which is now coming true. Now, I've taken one for the team here and read that full article in the Daily Express so that you don't have to. The rest of this so-called story somehow links the alleged EU plot to take British citizens with an assertion that any concerns about the Northern Ireland Protocol is because European community propaganda is rife, to use their word. If you're thinking, um, Rob, surely you've left something out here. What's the link between an EU kidnapping story and the Northern Ireland Protocol? Well, that's what I wondered. I think it's just another stick to beat the EU with, as the only thing the two parts of this article have in common is that it's all the dreadful EU's fault. They quote Belfast community worker Eileen Weir as saying that, yes, the post-Brexit border mechanism has problems and needs to be fixed, but that the biggest problem is that many people are only hearing about the negatives because of the dastardly EU propaganda pointing out the problems. She says there are many economic and social positives to the agreement, which effectively keeps Northern Ireland within the EU. The obvious question that the author of this article should be asking is, if the positives are so great, then why not extend that arrangement to the rest of the UK, keeping England, Wales and Scotland within the EU too? But alas, that question doesn't seem to occur to her. Either that, or to be fair, perhaps she just wants to keep her job at the Express. At the same time, says the article, unionist parties have expressed their opposition to the protocol over checks on goods arriving into Northern Ireland from Great Britain, slamming the situation as a border down the Irish Sea. Hmm. Can I just point out that this is the border that Boris Johnson said no prime minister could ever accept? but he has accepted it. In fact, he insisted on it as part of the Northern Ireland Protocol that he negotiated, agreed to and implemented. But yet somehow it's the EU's fault. You see, although we have apparently taken back control, the UK government is begging the EU to be pragmatic and flexible in their implementation and interpretation of the protocol. 
But honestly, we have taken back control, really. I just hope that any government attempts to take back control of the exodus of UK citizens to the European Union will meet with similar failure.